What's up everybody? Itosan here. I'm glad to be back with another video tutorial. Um, what we're gonna do is replacing a motor bell as you can see from the title. You can do this on a 3 inch quad or on a 5 inch quad, it's the same. We're doing it on a Mobulo 7 HD. What's the story? I was flying in a park. I usually fly in a park because I feel safer. I'm not a pro pilot. So when I drop it, usually it doesn't break. And I was so lucky to flip over uh, a rock, basically the only rock in a square mile. And, and I broke the motor shaft. I went there, walked to the, to the Mobulo 7 and found out that the propeller was ejected. And that was it. I was done flying. The propeller I'm using are Genfan 16 by 36 by 4 blades. They're, I think they're made of polycarbonate. Very strong, durable, a little bit noisier than the original ones, but they're another story. Much better. Um, so I'm, I never did this, so we're gonna do this for the first time. We're gonna replace this motor bell all together. And I hope you stick around. Oh, another, another thing I forgot to mention is that um, I tried to screw the propellers in with some M1 screws, but I just had one, I think, from my Tyro 79. Here, there it is. Uh, but I couldn't find more, not even uh, either on Amazon or Banggood or others. So if you guys could point up um, where to get them, I'd be very pleased, because I think they're better than the motor shaft. Thanks a lot. Here we go. So this is the new motor bell. Uh, I got it on Banggood. And I unscrewed uh, the propeller and here's the, the other part of the motor shaft, which broke inside the propeller. See, and it sticks out a little bit. So it's it wasn't even possible to screw in the propeller. So next thing we're doing, so we're screwing out the, the motor so that we can work on the bell. There we go. So the motor came out. So now on the bottom of the, of the motor, you'll get this with your replacement, a new one. Uh, you get a, a, a searing, I'll call it a searing. Uh, it's over there, it's black. Hold on. Try to point, see that black C? You got to kick it out from the, from the shaft. Right here, you got to push it. It's a little bit of pain in the butt to kick it out. Uh, you got to be a little patient. There it is. That's the C-clip I was talking about. There's another one on the top of the bell, which we'll see in a few seconds. Here, see the black C ring, C clip. So basically, how I removed it? I I took the the sharp pliers. So watch your fingers when you use them. And um, I used the tip to put them in the two small holes holes you can see, and remove it like this. Hold on. Try to, to be stable and watch your fingers. You don't want to stab yourself. There we go, like this. Uh, where did it go? Oh, here, in the magnets. Okay. There it is. You're gonna have just one spare C-ring, so try not to lose at least one of them. So right now we're 
removing one of the two brass rings. So one on the top and one on the bottom. There it is. And now we're ready to remove the bell, finally. So this is the tricky part, because you can't damage the wires in the stator and you don't want to do that, otherwise you're going to trash the motor. So what I do, I put the pliers right here between the part where you screw the motor into the frame and the stator, but flat with the pliers flat on, on the stator. So no tip in it to damage it. Then I stabilize the wrist and pull. There we go. And pull it out. Of course, with bigger motors, the magnets are going to be stronger. So it's going to be harder to pull off. But it's doable. There it is the beautiful stator. All intact and working. And here is the damaged bell. And we're going to replace it with the new one. From the new bag of the, of the spare part, um, I'll get the brass ring and I'll put it just below the bell. Right in there. go now I can join the stator and the bell and the magnets will attract them once you put it in the shaft there we go let's try to to make it turn and see if it's smooth it rattles a little bit because of the magnets on such small motors. But... There's already the new C-ring. I'll need to put it the, the other C-ring on the bottom of the motor. But before that, I'm gonna put the brass ring on the bottom and then the C ring over it. Wow, almost. Yeah, I got it in. Okay, cool. I think we're done. So, let's put it back on. And there we go. It's done. The motor is back on the frame. There we go. Nice and clean. And we're gonna put propeller on. We're gonna put another one because I I don't think I can manage to kick out the this part. The broken piece of shaft, motor shaft. Nope, I got no joy there, so I'm gonna replace it with a new propeller. Different color though, but I personally don't care. And that's about it. Thank you so much for sticking in. Work done. And please like and subscribe. The video really helps me, guys. And stay tuned for the next one. Happy flying.